Good. Can I can I begin by asking uh, what do you what do you understand by the word bio art? So, for example, those who are in performance art, would you say you are working with living things also? We are we are getting somewhere here. Yeah? We we understand that it's about living things, but it also could be dead. Uh, it could be dealing with biological science. What else can we say about bio art? Are genes alive? Before we start talking about the ethics and aesthetics of bio art, it would be useful to understand what biology is, you know, what this substance or the focus of bio arts is, or what, the, what the focus of biology is. And I've not even started asking you, what do you mean by something being living? So reproduction, if something has reproductive capacity, yeah. then it, okay. So art has been using animal metal, dead animals, for a very long time. But it's only today that we start noticing it. And actually, raising as a possibility to raise, right, the question culturally, what does that mean? Someone could be a vegan or artist could be a vegetarian and not even notice that he or she is painting <coughs> with a brush made out of dead animal. Biology is a recent science. Bio art has probably a history of maybe 40 years, depending on which artworks you're looking at. So, bio art is a relatively recent art form that looks at living systems. But when you work with a living substance, any living substance, it seems, it seems like you're doing something to it that it might not want. Not that it does not want it, but it might not want it. If you are affecting something which has a living, is, which is a living thing, it has its own mind, it has its own conscience, it has its own living relationship. What do we, what, do, what must we do as artists in doing this responsibly? I think that's a challenge to a certain extent because I find that uh, these issues like uh, our relationship to genetic engineering or to biology or even to animal rights, right? they are pervasive culturally. Yeah. Even the fact that someone can protest the work, some kind of group, it already shows that there is a, that, that issue has become a problem, right? it's been problematized. And, um, What's sometimes said in SME is the fact that artists uh, without, right, the ones who are not thinking what exactly the place of art is, sometimes uh, uh, do works which are behind even popular culture. How artists are enabling us to have a discussion today about life and living things in a way we never had and we probably would, would continue to need to have because we still do not know what living is. We, do, we still don't know what a living substance is. With all our understanding of genetics, we are still no closer to understanding life. And, I, and I'm using the word biological substance and not living thing for a very, very important reason. Because even today, with all the understanding that we have of what it means to be living, we still have no clue whatsoever what exactly makes something living. Think about what it means to destroy an artwork which is a living substance. Should they be allowed to do that? Should, should an artist be allowed to take away someone's skin after he dies? Should an artist be allowed to, allowed to make uh, multiple uh, rabbits that glow in the dark? As I said, there are some serious questions that are raised and can be raised and should be raised with artworks uh, dealing with animals and plants. But, the question is, what is the ethics of the artist when you are doing it?